And it's just like, ah, okay, you know, I came home, talked to my man, and you know, my man reminded me of who I am. All right, I'm ready to go back outside and deal with what I got to deal with. And it's the same for men. We out there dealing with a lot as men, battling and, you know, trying to fight for our careers and fight to take care of our women and fight to take care of our kids and everything. Like, so when we come home, that's that recharge time. That's where you're supposed to come lay in your woman's lap and she rub your head and, you know what I'm saying, like remind you of uh, how great of a man you are. Remind you of what your potential is. Remind you of what it is you're fighting for in terms of legacy. And that way, when you go outside, your chest is back out. You, you know what I'm saying, flexed up. You ready to deal with whatever you got to deal with to make it back home to that woman. In the opening clip, this man told us about what men need, want, and expect from a woman that he's going to dedicate his life to. The problem in modern Western society today is that women want the world but refuse to support men. With that being said, let's get started. I'm going to say it because men can't. More often than not, women will argue with their emotions so that they're always right. Not all the time, but more often than not, women will argue with their feelings so that they're always right because no matter what your feelings are valid but now if we're having a conversation i tell you you weren't supposed to feel that way even if i didn't mean to make you feel that way if i tell you that your feelings are dumb now i'm gaslighting you but the only person that could validate those feelings is you and i have to accept how you feel as a man if you try and argue your feelings then you're a bitch now there's no conversation to be had it's just you made me feel this way apologize and let's get over it listen if you've had any amount of relationships in your life if you've dealt with women then you've come across these type of arguments or conversations where as a man what do we try to do we try to fix the situation and when you are dealing with overly emotional women then you're arguing their emotions and guess what you're never going to win that battle your point is invalid because you cannot argue against emotions if a woman is trying to argue her feelings vice fact then my advice to you gents out there, you listen to what she says, you give her that art, that chance to express her emotions, but let her know how you feel. Now, if that's not good enough, then you have other things to consider because a woman who isn't willing to listen is a woman who most likely don't respect you. Now, in the next couple clips, I'm going to show you some examples of women who are putting themselves above their men, above the family above understanding the situation. Check it out. Are you serious? You really here packing up a box for the leave because I lost my job? I am so serious. We get married in less than a month. You doing this right now? Yes. Because I lost my job? You won't even tell me how you it lost It don't matter. I'm going to get another job. It does matter. You're my future Do wife. you have another job already? You're my future wife. You're about to you're move going to hold me down. You support me? You're supposed to hold me down. I'm just saying. And you already did it. Soon go through some hard. I lose my job. You already packed up a box yeah. for the leave. No, it's more than that. It's what about is it? having accountability, taking responsibility you, for so your you actions. You took the ring off? I did. Are you serious? Yes. So Call off my job. Look, that's the I, most simple. Like, what, what? All I'm saying is that you lost your job, so right now there's no money coming in. Our savings. Oh, can you get a job for right now? Let me let me figure it out. What you mean? Why do I need to get a job? Because I'm what you doing? This whole time. Now you want to step here and try to get me to get a job and you I'm saying but you're doing the most I, I, I can serious? get another job. Like what you mean? You okay, and I'm just supposed to sit around here and watch everything get snatched. And this is the for my future wife, y'all. Y'all see this? This is how my future wife acting right now. She paid him a dog. I don't know what you expected. I don't know what you expected. Are you serious? You've been having issues and you've been I've been having days. issues. Yeah. Now all this coming out. What about your issues? Huh? We're not talking about me. I'm you you have having an issue right now because you're paying them a box in the lead. What? I lost my job. I lost my job. I don't see how we could fix this. What you by okay. getting you another job. Because, it's simple. Because how we going to finish paying for the wedding then? What you mean? Everything going to be taken care what? of. What? To have my back. Through sickness and health. Through death do us part. I can't keep doing this. I'm not going to keep going back and forth with you. I didn't ask you to have accountability for your actions. Yeah. No. What you mean? Because I want my stuff and I'm going to take my stuff somewhere where I can be supported. And this is the woman I was going to get ready to marry, y'all. This is crazy right now. It's shit like this that make men not want to get married. It's this bullshit right here that men can't trust women. I understand that women need security. The dude just lost his job in the exact same day. They are also supposed to get married 
very soon. This woman is willing to leave. Women are more likely to get a divorce when this happens inside of a marriage. See, when we ask, what do you bring to the table? The characteristic that would make you stay there, support your man, be there for him, rub his back, support that dude unconditionally is the things that we want to know before we get married. Now, this dude is still pushing the whole marriage thing. She showed her damn hands where you have these selfish ass women that will do whatever it takes for them to be on the come up. Women are more in love with the idea of marriage, but they aren't in love with the idea of actually being wives. Why, where I've already does the come going, from? I've already explained what's going on. He's staying here now. He, it, it is what it is. I'm, not, is I'm not taking in no child that's not mine that I didn't know about. You're not taking in no child. We're married. I don't know this little boy. We okay, married, but who, when him. did this happen? We're going to get to know him. I'm trying to tell you he's here now. I don't even know that's, that's something I want to do. Why would I want to get to know a child? He 11. That little boy ain't going to listen to me no way. Wait, what? This ain't What's right. What's not right about it? I'm Everything ain't right. We've been together 13 years. Yeah, but I, I need to know who the mama I know, is. I never told you for a reason, though. What's the reason? You don't because keep you a child from nobody. You didn't want kids. You didn't want nobody with kids. So I didn't want to mess up nothing. I have to put, you know what I'm saying? You know, the baby 11. We got together 13 yeah, years I mean, ago. It, it was so what cool. you just went and had a cool. baby with somebody else? No, it ain't, it ain't nothing like that. No, it's just like that. The boy is 11. Listen, we took a break, right? Yeah. All right, then. So things happened, and y'all, he's here. We got the break was only for a week. So you mean to tell me in that week that we took that break that you went and got somebody? I'm trying to tell you. Yeah. Listen, so why didn't you right? tell me? I'm not taking any no child told in my you home. I didn't tell you. you because I didn't want a child. The boy yeah. is 11. That's not a oh. good. That's not a good excuse. Okay, I don't look, take now that. Now we here. I don't. Okay, and we here, and now you about to be gone. Oh really? What's your, oh what's very your really. Plan? Yeah, we can cut. I mean, I don't want to. So you rather go through go a whole divorce than take me, my son? This too much for me. How this too, too soon. It's too much. He's too old. So you want to go with 13 years? Yeah, we gonna have to throw this away. This this too much. He should have told his woman early on that when they were split, that he got somebody pregnant. Now, obviously, this man was worried about losing the woman that he's with for whatever reason. But that is some punk ass shit. Listen, I understand as a man, there's certain things you be nervous as a man to tell your woman. But the one thing that you cannot hide is a kid. And that's what he did. However, on the flip side, y'all been together 13 years. Yes, she going to be heard about the kid. And I don't know what the aftermath of this. I don't know if they stayed together or broke up. But this is a little boy that needs his dad. Regardless of how he messed up, she should not have been recording that or starting that argument in front of him. Being a wife is supporting your husband. Does that hurt? Probably yes. Does it sting? More than likely so. I just played for y'all two clips of women who weren't willing to stay around, who wasn't willing to support and hold a men down in the times they needed them the most. When, what's the difference for you when you know I'm fully supportive, my wife is happy, my kids are good, and you know things are balanced. She's, you know, what's the difference for you inside when you have to go out into the world as a man? when you're full of love and support and communication and good food and all that versus things are off and it feels weird and nobody's talking and how does well, it feel I, for you I need y'all to inside? For me, y'all listen up I, on I, this. Listen up. I, I think of myself as a communicator, right? When I'm not getting that at home, the best way I can say is I go out into the world empty. Empty. Yeah. I feel empty. I feel secluded. I feel... I don't think I've ever been depressed, but the closest to depression I can ever think about is when that's not happening, when I'm not communicating at a high level with the people inside of my household or having that communication with my family. When I go out knowing that my family is happy and fulfilled, then I go out into the world fulfilled Real with, with more to gain and going out there thinking how I can maintain that. When I'm not getting that, I'm empty. And empty is exactly how I feel when, when that's not happening. There you go. I want women to really hear what this man said because a lot of men feel exactly this way. Love is supposed to be unselfish. But what we're seeing is that a lot of modern women today, when it comes to their feelings and their emotions, it's all about them. When a man isn't getting what he needs from a relationship, when he isn't feeling supported, that a man will stay because he loves his wife and there's a sense of duty to her and these kids. Then what we start to see is that women are leaving. I haven't spoken to my daughter daughter's father in nine years. Nine and years? just had a conversation that left me in tears and apologized. Okay. I wanted to make this video because I want to encourage other parents to have the conversation. I'm going to cry. 
I never understood Jenna's father's perspective and I never understood him. Most women I don't. I never took the time to listen. Yep. Because I was so fixed on I'm the victim. It happened to me. You did this to me. Yep. You did this to me. You did this to me. Yep. I didn't know him. I didn't know myself. I never understood how he could, you know, do the things and, you know, make these decisions and all types of stuff. But it's because I never understood. Oh my God. Yeah, because it's hard so for us like, men. It is harder for us men than y'all women. And I'm just so remorseful. Like, I can't believe that you ruined your own relationship. I never understood the part that I played in the whole situation. I, I never right. knew. I never knew how I was affecting him. I didn't know how I was affecting our situation. It's tough, ain't it? I'm so much lighter than I was before talking to him. There was weight that I was carrying. I didn't know I was carrying. Because it's about you. It's about I you. I didn't know. I know. Had I never gone to therapy, I would have never been able to have this conversation. I would have right. never been able to hear. I would have never been able to learn. I never thought yeah. I was going to be the one apologizing. Yeah, because you guys don't want to take I accountability. for an apology. Right, because we're always wrong as men. I have to applaud this woman on coming out and saying this stuff because most women will not admit to the things that this woman just admitted to. When you're in victim mentality, there is no way you can take accountability. It's all about what happened to you. And when it comes to men, most women don't want to hear it. As much as women say that men need to open up and be more in touch with their feelings, this is the quickest way to lose your woman and lose her respect. I am telling you, this is the perception that men have of modern women today because this is what we see all over the place. A lot of guys are just checking out relationships. They are done with marriage. And a lot of brothers are getting their passports and they are going going where they are appreciated, not tolerated. What did I do today? You cooked dinner. You went to the grocery stores before and got all the groceries to cook dinner. And you cleaned up the room, whole room, and put all my clothes away without me asking for it. Wow. And do I feel like I'm safe? No. Okay. Because what did you do today? What did I do? I bought Starbucks. I took out the trash when I saw you struggling with it. You were going to try to take it out yourself. <laughs> and um, well, I got your nails done the other day. So it's not a game of who does more for who. It's about thinking what the other person needs and doing it without them having to ask for it. Yeah. And even if I do just the little things for him, he's always so surprised and appreciative. Of course. Which makes me wonder what's going on over there in America. Crazy. Mind you, we're not taking them away from you. They're coming to find us. This woman right here laid it out perfectly. When you really love somebody, care about somebody, when you really are concerned about their emotions and their feelings, over your own, then doing something for them isn't slavery. It is you love them. Your actions show that you love them.